Are you still using save as to copy old drawings to new projects or reuse things like blocks, title blocks, and objects within the drawings? In today's video, I'm going to share a handful of tips and tricks and proper ways to copy and reuse old objects, title blocks, layouts, and much more within AutoCAD while saving you time and keeping your drawings standardized and clean. If you stick around to the end, let's jump right in. All right, so we're going to start with a classic and one that I talk about all the time, but still many new users are unaware of this command or they simply don't know how to use it properly. And that is the copy with base point command. You can type that in or you can simply hold down control shift and tap C to activate it. What you're going to want to do is select the objects that you want to copy as well as the base point you're going to copy from. So to start, I like to select all of my objects. Now one key and cool feature with this command is that you can also copy external references and by using copy with base point, so I'm going to select all of my text, my objects and an external reference in this floor plan drawing and I'm going to choose copy with base point. Again, you can type that in or you can hit control shift and tap C to activate the command. You can see it's asking for the base point. Now this is a point that you're going to use that is the same in your original drawing and in your new drawing. The easiest way to make sure that all of your objects end up in the exact same place is to use a base point of this means that both drawings are going to be referenced based on that zero comma zero point. So if you bring all of the objects into the same location in both drawings, they're going to line up. This is especially useful for geo referenced plans like a site plan or an architectural floor plan where they may actually be placed in the actual location in the world based on coordinates. So I'm going to type in zero comma zero for my base point here. But again, you can use any similar point. It's like the copy command, but it's going to allow you to move things from one drawing to another by putting all of this in the clipboard and bringing it into a new drawing when you paste it. Again, you can see that all of your objects, including the external reference here and text, have all been moved from the floor plan drawing into this blank new drawing automatically. Everything is in the same location as the original, and it makes copying objects from an old project into a new project a lot simpler and more streamlined. 